electronic uh, copy of the Bible course and also paper copy. Y yeah, is that important? No, no, just wondering no. Um, yes. what you would like to work with. You know? So, um, yeah. I don't want any electronic gadgets. I just prefer to use paper. I, I find it's quicker and it's easier. Okay. Yeah, I find it a little more pleasant to work with paper. But, um, yeah, um, so you were doing this on your own just to go through the book. Yes. You like to work with You understand it's a sort of, uh, sort of uh, a guide, like it says in the beginning, uh, it's meant to be uh, used um, as a interactive Bible course, as the title already says, the instructor, so that you, you have a sort of interaction and you also can express yourself right. as you, well, the instructor learns to know your feelings and uh, your opinions, your background, and that way uh, can be better of assistance, that's the, the idea. But you prefer to do this on your own? I don't know anyone. Right, okay. So, what choice have I got? You don't know anyone. Um, how did you get a, a copy of the book? Uh, please, you... I'm, I'm not really... Could we just look at the book? Rather than yeah. talk about the book. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it says on page 63 lesson 15 paragraph 3 where is Jesus now so it's lesson 15 page 63 paragraph 3 where is Jesus now yeah and it says after Jesus's life as a human ended he was resurrected as a spirit and he returned to heaven there God exalted him to a superior position now Jesus has a position of great authority, second only to Jehovah himself. Well, I believe that Jesus' life ended when he died on the tree. I believe he was resurrected. I believe he returned to heaven. And I believe the Father exalted the Son. But what really caught my attention, Hendricus, was the comment that after Jesus' life as a human ended, he was resurrected as a spirit. Now, I thought the tomb was empty because Jesus rose in the same body that he died in. That's why the tomb was empty. When the disciple, the women and then the disciples went to the tomb, the tomb was empty because he'd risen in the same body that he died in. That's why there was no body in the tomb. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your question is, uh um, about the uh, yeah, say that um, his physical body while he was uh, resurrected to his spirit being what what happened to his physical body because we read in Acts chapter two verse thirty one if I might read it please he foreseeing this spoke concerning the resurrection of the christ that his soul was not left in hades nor did his flesh see corruption so jesus's flesh did not see corruption yeah That's and the true. tomb was empty oh. so what happened to the body to the body well, why is that important what happened to the body well yes the the tomb was 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 empty you see yeah um, I've done some research I've been on your website jw.org and I found a watchtower for the first of September 1953 watchtower page 518 and it says that Jesus's fleshly body dissolved um, I'll read it what happened to the perfect fleshly body of Jesus after his death was it preserved so that in time men would look upon it in worship or does Jesus still have this fleshly body in the heavens 
spiritualized so that it can be seen and worshipped. Neither. The scriptures answer, it was disposed of by Jehovah God, dissolved into its constituent elements or atoms, but no scripture is given for this. Mm -hmm. So if the body of Jesus that was in the tomb dissolved, which scripture says that? Could you could you point me to a scripture that says that? I don't know. Right. Don't you think it would have been better to, because I did say which chapter I was interested in studying, wouldn't it be better for you to have spoken to me with um, a natural English speaker? A natural English speaker? Yeah. Uh -huh. You're not from England? No, I am not. Or, or Scotland? You're not a... No. I'm, I'm Dutch. You're Dutch, yes. Wouldn't it be better to speak to me with uh, another elder who is a natural English speaker? Maybe, if you prefer someone else. It's <laughs> easy with communication, yeah? Yes, yes, because I think we're having trouble understanding each other. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah. I, I don't mind speaking to the pair of you. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. But you don't seem to have any response to anything that I have said so far. Well, uh, you're a bit quick to move to a specific uh, point that it didn't prepare uh, for hands. But so I told I you know. in advance what I wanted to look at. Did you? I've been looking at chapter 15 and chapter 13. Questions like this. Yeah. Okay. I beg your pardon, you just say that again? Yeah, sorry, I've been quite busy this week, like I already said, so I didn't have much time to uh, look okay. into it myself. Just wanted to uh, see a bit what's your background and uh, what, what are, are your goals. Well, I want to obey Jehovah God. Your book says that he was resurrected as a spirit. And I yeah. wanted to know what evidence or proof do you have for that? You know, which which Bible verses can you can you show me that that would say that? And when your Watchtower magazine said that his body wasn't in the tomb because it dissolved into its constituent parts, its elements or atoms, which verse says that? You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I understand your point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can arrange something. Well, that's very kind. Thank you very much indeed for your help. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sorry for this point. That's quite all right. Thank you for your help. Bye-bye.